When we talk about a brand, I, I really feel like today there's this huge shift. So brands are struggling to maintain customers and really adapt who they have been talking to to new values within the consumer mindset. I don't know if you guys are NPR listeners, but yesterday uh, there was a big story about the Census Bureau, millennials overtaking baby boomers and this whole shift, right? So it's been talked about for a long time. It's buzzword central, right? So it's constantly being discussed. But what does that really mean, right? And we'll touch on that, but it really means that there's a value proposition that's being taken every day by a whole new consumer set that's getting ready to have more purchasing power than any other group in history. There's this whole thing, this whole movement of people quitting their jobs and living the dream, right? And this whole van life concept has been, this guy, his name is Foster Huntington. If you're familiar with him, he's got a million followers on Instagram. He quit his finance job in New York City, decided, hey, I want to just go live on the road. And Foster Huntington now, like, he built this hippie commune in Big Sur and lives in a tree house and truly does live the dream. He has this insane skate ramp and, yeah, it's amazing. And so what he was able to do was essentially transition this dream concept into the, the reality of business, right? So uh, he just did a deal with uh, Mercedes-Benz, $10,000 per post, per post for him. That is a business model that didn't exist three years ago. And this has ushered in this whole idea of, if only I could quit my job, do my thing, do what I really want in my life, then I would be truly happy. So there's this aspirational value concept that's happening, and it's being driven by things like this. It's being applied into everyday life, which is whether you work at a bank, whether you work at a finance group, I mean, whether you work in the outdoor industry. I dream about this every day, and I literally sell that dream. When we talk about in the bubble, right? In the company, in the brand. What are some of those challenges that we have, right? Preconceptions, right? So there's always this challenge internally when you want to be creative, right? Oh, yeah, I love being creative. That's fantastic. But my sales guy is like, you creative marketing guys don't do anything. You look like a bunch of hippies. You just spend all the money, right? I bring in all the money. It's so much harder to be me than it is to be you. And I say, oh, you just don't understand anything. You're not creative, right? You're a PC. I'm a Mac, dude, right? So. <laughs> the, <laughs> The reality of the situation is we have to work together because creativity comes from lots of different angles. Like we talked about, like Aaron talked about in the beginning, right? It doesn't just work if the idea is good. It works if the numbers work. So you've got to be able to sell it on both sides. So I need sales guy as much as I need marketing guy to make all of these things mesh. And I think more than ever, we're ready to have that conversation about how do we communicate together? How open is the communication dialogue between your creative group, right, and your numbers guys and your sales guys? And how do your sales guys react to the things that are being put in the marketing?